Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and this is The Auditorium. Welcome. I reactivated game music as a musician myself. Today is a Patreon request for Van Adele. This is The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, and the song is called Lorul Castle Theme. I've never even heard of this game. Well, first of all, I've never even owned a Nintendo console. Actually, that's a lie. I've owned a Game Boy Color and that was it. But uh, Zelda I is just one of those huge games that I've never played or heard. I've only heard like like the five songs or less. You know, I know the main theme, I know Song of Storm, Song of Time, and like Gerudo Valley and everything else. Like those, like the really, really popular ones. This I have no idea, but fun fact, right before I start this, I noticed this is a, uh, a different composer. It says Ryo Nagamatsu. I thought Zelda was strictly all 100% uh, Ken, uh, Koji Kondo. <laughs> so I love Koji stuff. So this is going to be not only, you know, Nintendo, which obviously I'm very unfamiliar with, but a sound that I thought was going to go one way, but it's, it's probably not. So this is exciting. Anyways, I'm talking a lot. Lorul Castle Theme. Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Let's go. Well, it sounds newer, like newer console. I don't know when this was released. That was a cool transition to the lower octave. Like a little gallop. Sounds like a parade march. It's already kind of stuck in my head. Da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Very catchy. Which is in line with Zelda music. Oh. Gong hit. The horn section is really cool in the song. The drum pattern has not changed at all.
fire and sick. Army over here. Sounds like a lot of conflict, like a battle. Or an opposing force trying to stop you. Super catchy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say something that's maybe controversial. But if you guys watch me for my honest opinions, then that's what you're going to get. First of all, song was great. Very catchy. Very cool. It was a good song. Da, 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 you know, right? It, 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 I've said this many times. Zelda is very, Zelda music is very good at just getting stuck in your head. It's such a less is more approach. Single note melodies, which are the most um, ear catching type of melodies. You can hum them back immediately. And lo and behold, I was humming it back within two minutes. Very simple. The drums were really, you know, kind of doing this kind of, the whole thing sounded very like Renaissance parade. It did sound like a castle, even though it's in the title. It had just kind of that whole like royalty type of sound. But then later on in the song, it had like these kind of like, like war chants or something. So it, it makes me think that this castle, this low rural castle is like a bad place. At first I thought it was, might be like a good place, but it seems like a place you don't want to be in, like enemies and like something, like maybe a boss, like at the end of the castle, I don't know, I've never played Zelda. But I know it's, you know, has that kind of like magical uh, realm type thing. So, the thing that I was going to say, and I'm not sure how to say it, so I'm just gonna keep talking and maybe it'll come out. But this has a very Zelda sound which is fine, right? It's 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 the brand. It's you can t I, like if I didn't know this was Zelda and I did like a blind react, as in I didn't see what it was. I honestly would have said that probably sounds like Zelda. Um, it just has that kind of flavor. Now, what I'm trying, what I'm going to say is, like I said earlier, this is not Koji Kondo. This is uh, Ryo mm -hmm. Nagamatsu. Who did a fantastic job, by the way. But the thing is, I kept thinking over and over. I'm like, I wonder if they if they gave them creative freedom. Or did Nintendo just say, like, I, I feel, I have this, oh, like, lingering feeling that Nintendo might have said something like, hey, this is what Zelda sounds like. Don't change it. And kind of mimic Koji's sound. I know that sounds kind of crazy because... For all I know, this was a completely original, off-the-top composition. But to me, it sounds like... God, I don't know how to explain it without sounding somewhat negative, but I'm trying, I promise I'm not trying to be. It just sounds like it was kind of like... mapped out. And... make a Koji-type sound. Now, of course, if it wasn't, then I apologize. But do you know what I'm saying? It just has that kind of like... Ninten I know Nintendo is... Um, they're strict on a lot of things. And uh, they have a certain brand and reputation that they like to withhold. That's their brand. And um, I wonder if... I don't know. I just put myself in the position, if I was in that position, if I had to 
uh, take over, I guess you could put it, or fill in the shoes of someone like that. If I didn't have the creative freedom to do what I want, which I've never been in that position, and I think most people aren't, is in the world of art. You usually just do your own thing. So if it was indeed like, God, I hate for, for lack of a better word, commissioned, then he did a great job because it literally sounded like Zelda and it sounded like Koji Kondo. But I just couldn't help but wonder, I'm like, is this what he really would have done on his own? And I don't know why I thought that. I guess it because it sounded so much like what I know it as, that if I didn't even look at the composer here, I would have just guessed it was Koji Kondo. Don't know why even any of this even came into my mind. It's just, I have to say it, and uh, you know, I say what I feel. And it just sounded like that to me. Either way, it was good. And um, it just has that formula that I was talking about. Let's talk about the positives. Even though it's all positive, I just couldn't help but notice that. Let, let me know if you agree or disagree with that. It's totally fine. Or if you even noticed that before or something like that. Because I, I tend to kind of decipher and break things apart quite a bit. But uh, on, a, on a nicer note, it, it, was, it was a cool song. And it definitely was on theme. It has the formula that I was talking about earlier. Like, I could just tell that it was a Zelda song. It's very... Zelda songs are not really intricate in composition. Uh, as in, the melodies are very simple. Um, very easy to, to grasp. Easy to understand. Even if you're not musically inclined. They're... They're almost like... Like jingles. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And uh, it, it's just, it's just, it's here. It's stamped. It sounds like Nintendo. It sounds like Zelda. I don't know when this game came out. I can, I can just look it up. It's like right here on this link. Uh, here, let's just read this. 95% of people love this game, according to the Googs. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds is an action adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the 3DS. Cool. Handheld. This game is an installment in the Legend of Zelda series and a spiritual successor of the 1991 Super Nintendo Entertainment system game the legend of zelda a link to the past oh november 22nd 2013 it's almost a it's almost a decade old had a nomination for um best handheld game hmm i mean it has great ratings and everything Anyways, I know Nintendo fans are abundant. Um, I was not one of you guys growing up. Uh, I wish I could, but I can only, I was one of those households that can only choose like one console. I was the Genesis console and the PlayStation console. But uh, I used to definitely go to my friends' houses and play like Nintendo stuff. But uh, let me know how this game is, how it compares to the other ones. Is it Does it hold up to like uh, Ocarina and all those other, I don't know all the games, but I know there's, um, I know there's that dark one too that I really, I really like the music from. Damn, what's it called? I'll remember as soon as this video's over, but it's the one that's like all dark and clock related. And, um, there's Breath of the Wild too, I know that one. I haven't even done the music for that one yet. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know more about it and let me know what other stuff this composer has done. Maybe I've even done them on the channel before, I don't know. And let me know if you, again, if you agree with what I was thinking, if you never even thought that, or if you just disagree completely, that's fine too. We can have all our opinions and be civil. But uh, that was cool. The rule castle theme. I just noticed one thing right before I was about to wrap up. There's two sceneries here. The reflection is like super dark. I just noticed that. A link between worlds, huh? Okay. I mean, the game looks, Based on this image, the game looks like it would be fun. Just from like light and dark. That's pretty cool. Maybe there's different versions of each song or something like that. Oh, I just noticed the 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 logo. How it's like all black and facing downwards. Ooh. I wasn't looking at that the whole time until I just was about to click off of it. Anyways, let me know more. Zelda fans slash Nintendo fans. If you want to make your own request, you could do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine if you do not mind waiting. There is quite a wait list, <laughs> and if you do not want to wait, there is the Patreon Platinum Trophy tier. 
A big thank you to my current supporters of that right now. That basically uh, skips the line, by the way. There is uh, Justin, Kevin, Patrick, your average metalhead, Shadow Maxim, Vanadel, Turn Arclight, and Kalanin. Thank you all so much for being a part of that. Thanks to you for watching. And uh, this has been The Honest Warrior. My name is Jesse. I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy. Happy holidays. Peace.